from Dr. Swarchala, scientific director with Ziva Fertility Centers. We made a lot of videos between food intake and uh, fertility improvement. But are there any good robust studies that have really analyzed the comparison between infertile and fertile patients? Let's look at one such study and then we will draw conclusions about how to improve your fertility and chances at pregnancy. So look at this study on your screen. This was a very robust study where thousands of women were enrolled and comparisons were drawn between fertile and infertile women. Let's see what the major differences were. There was a higher percentage of infertile women who had less iron, zinc, folic acid, calories and protein. The intake of these nutrients was very high in women who got pregnant and had live birth rates. Then the next correlation was the intake of fruits and vegetables. If a woman had a pro-healthy dietary pattern, as in high intake of fruits and vegetables, it was associated with a higher number of oocytes and better embryo quality. So this was another very good revelation that if you improved your dietary intake, there was a higher chance of a better egg quality and embryo quality. Next, in fertile patients, it was seen that there was a higher intake of virgin olive oil, vegetables, fruits, cereals, nuts, legumes, a moderate intake of fish and other meat, dairy products, and there was a low intake of eggs and sweets particularly. So this was also very, very important that if you reduced sugar in your diet, there was a higher chance of fertility. Another dietary pattern used in the study was a fertility diet. Dietary pattern characterized by intake of supplements such as folic acid, B12, low pesticide residue produce, higher intake of whole grains, seafood, dairy and soy food was directly and positively related to likelihood of live birth. So there is a strong connection between what we eat and the chances of having a healthy live birth. Let's individually look at what food items they studied. They found that the amount of trans fatty acid consumed is negatively related to live birth rate. So a high consumption of fast foods that is a rich source of trans fatty acid influences fertility. So if you included um, pizzas, burgers, uh, soft drinks etc in your diet, there was a high likelihood that you could be having low fertility chance. They looked at caffeine as well. A high intake of caffeine, especially black tea, coffee with added sugar, a diet soft drinks has been related to low live birth rate. However, coffee intake of one to two cups daily has been associated with a normal live birth rate. So having coffee or caffeine rather in moderate quantities will help you in having a higher chance at live birth rate. Folic acid was also examined. Healthy women with the low risk of birth rate should essentially supplement 400 micrograms a day of folic acid at least 12 weeks before conception and early pregnancy to avoid neural tube defects. These were the conclusions from this study. A low risk of anovulation was also observed regularly in menstruating females when folic acid was added into their diet. So if you are having loss of ovulation, if you are having PCOD, if you include folic acid, there was a high likelihood that your chances of pregnancy improved. The patients with high pollutant exposure had a lower rate of live birth or implantation rate, but folic acid supplementation positively modified these results in many studies. Let me explain that. If you were exposed to pesticides either by inhalation or by the food that you intake, there was a higher chance of infertility or recurrent pregnancy loss. But if you included folic acid, there was a chance that this defect that the pesticide caused could also be reversed. So folic acid's importance was very strongly correlated with fertility. Vitamin D. There was a significant association with female fertility. Food products fortified with vitamin D could be advisable for some populations. Again, vitamin D has been very controversial, but there are many studies saying that it improves the implantation potential of the uterus, the endometrial lining, when an embryo reaches there for implantation. So vitamin D is also advised for women to enhance their fertility. There are other vitamins also that they studied, other supplements also that they studied. Coenzyme Q10, melatonin, multiple nutrient supplementations of vitamin E, D, as well as numerous micronutrients or only folate supplements were studied. All of these concluded that they had positive effect on pregnancy rate. Therefore, when your doctor advises you to have supplements, especially folic acid, uh, multivitamins, improve your diet, you should because now it has been proven what you eat is what you get. If you eat well, 
there is a higher chance of having a live healthy birth rate if you wish to understand more about this please feel free to contact us thank you a lot of effort has gone into making this video please like and subscribe us thank you